One thing I get asked time and time again is how can I make the most of my harvests? Which is why I've teamed up with Sam so we can show you the complete introduction to fermenting for gardeners. I've been working with Hugh for the past growing season and I honestly can't think of a better way to celebrate what's grown here in the garden other than fermentation. And we got chatting and we realised that there's a lot of gardeners like me who grow a lot of food and then we're not really sure how to get into fermentation. So we decided to create a course that doesn't just focus on set recipes, but actually addresses the fundamental techniques to allow you to get creative with whatever it is you've decided to grow. So by the end of this course, you're gonna have the confidence in your knowledge and skills to start creating your own delicious ferments. Now during this course, we're gonna be focusing on so many different techniques that range from collecting and nurturing your own wild cultures and yeasts, all the way to making your own beers, wines, salsas, sauerkrauts, kimchis, all sorts. Absolutely all sorts of things. One of my favourite things about fermentation is you get to create delicious and unique foods that you just simply can't buy in a shop, which are perfect for sharing and celebrating with your friends and family. For me, honestly, as a grower, being able to go into the garden and harvest some stuff, come to the table and make amazing, delicious food. Whoa, that is amazing. Wow. It's such a rewarding process. We've structured this course so that you get to see the crossovers and the, the interplay between every element of fermentation and all the recipes featured in it. The other thing about fermentation is that it comes under the umbrella of preserving. So if you're looking to preserve those kind of summer, autumn gluts and abundance, then fermenting it is a really exciting way to go about that. For me, fermentation is this meeting between chefing and gardening because you can't just approach the food from the mentality of a chef where you get to cook it and it's done. Instead, you have to look after it. You're nurturing, you're growing, you're developing a living thing. Whether you've grown the food yourself or you're buying it from a local producer, everyone can get involved with fermentation. All you need really is your kitchen table and a few bottles and jars. So to get started with fermentation today, simply use the link below.